today we're actually going to be talking about the Dometic ACs. So, first way to tell if you have a Dometic AC is if you look up at it and it says Dometic. If you have a screen that looks like this, you probably have a Dometic. Now, you're going to probably ask about these little rubber bands here, and there's only two on it from the factory, but they are in the same spot. The way you actually want this laid out to keep this filter down where it's supposed to be is you're going to need four of these guys stretched out to make a big W or M depending on which way you hold it. So that's the way it should look and this is going to keep that filter down. Now anytime you're checking this filter you're looking for any obvious holes or anything like that and you want to keep it rinsed out. The other thing you're going to be looking for is this little wire right here. It'll have a black end on it Whenever it comes in, if you're looking up at the unit, which Mark will do a separate screenshot of this, and hopefully he'll be able to just like load it up there and do Mark magic stuff. Mark's looking at me like I got 12 heads. He's like, you know how much time this is going to take. It'll have a blue connected end onto it. I'll just pop this out. It'll look just like that. Mark, we in focus? Focus, Mark? Mark's not amused. So making sure that this guy is actually pressed up inside the unit up into the fins themselves. That's actually going to be what helps determine whether the AC is icing up or not. How it works I don't know. They just told me to pay attention to it. So we want to make sure that guy is in place. We want to make sure we got our cover up secure inside of here locked into place. Um, other than that, guys, avoid running your AC on low. We talk about this all the time, and we got a lot of people who go, well, my daddy told me, and my father told me too. Guess what? My dad was wrong. Your dad's wrong too. Um, do not run these guys on low. Only run them on high or on auto. And the reason for that is if we're not moving enough air over those cooling fins, we're going to ice them up. With these new 13.5 and 15,000 BTU ACs, we're icing them up even faster than what we did before. Whenever I was camping, we were in a Coleman pop-up with like an 8,000 BTU or something goofy like that. It was some little guy. So we didn't have a problem with it because it couldn't get itself cold in the first place. These new 15Ks, got to have those, those ACs on high. Guys, other than that, any questions, please comment down below. Um, we'll get to the videos as quick as you guys can come up with suggestions. And Mark comes up with a way for us to do some of them. They're a little difficult trying to get the camera angles. Occasionally we have to employ a light guy who just showed up for free monsters, which we don't have because Monster hasn't sponsored us yet. But I'm not holding a grudge. Guys, give us a call 1-800-232-3279. Stop down and see us off I-81, exit 1, Greencastle, Pennsylvania. Have a great day.